Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be talking about the national aquatic animal of India that is the gangetic dolphin. As the number of gangetic dolphin was on a decline, so the conservation aspect was becoming very very important and keeping the conservation of the gangetic dolphin into mind, so the first ever gangetic dolphin satellite tagging has been done and this is a step towards the conservation of the gangetic dolphin. So, first of all, talk, let us talk about the points of discussion. First, we will be talking about the news, then the first ever satellite tagging, then about the Ganges River dolphin and the different features and characteristics of it, then about the conservation efforts and in the end prelims MCQ. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is conservation and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. The news talks about why the first ever satellite tagging of a Ganges dolphin is significant. So, as this is a first ever, so becomes all the more important and this is with regard to the national aquatic animal of India and so it becomes all the more important. So, satellite tagging has been done for the very first time. So, tagging means that the gangetic dolphin, every gangetic dolphin will be tagged so that a eye can be kept on, kept on them. So, the their movement can be kept under vigil. It can be seen that where are the gangetic dolphin heading to or how the spread of the gangetic dolphins in the Ganges or Brahmaputra or in the Indus. So, how is it moving in different directions? So, that is why it has been done so that if there is any aspect with regard to the conservation of the gangetic dolphin, then it becomes easy to look into. Now, before we move forward, Drishti IAS Mukherjee Nagar classes has now been shifted to Noida. So, the offline batches in Noida, the admissions for the offline batches have begun for the IAS GS foundation course covering both prelims and mains in English medium and the if you are travelling by the metro station, then the nearest metro station is Noida sector 15 and the exact address is C171 oblique 2 block A sector 15 and the link is also provided in the description box with regard to the new Noida center location and apart from the Noida batch, the Lucknow batch is beginning from 23rd of December and the Delhi Karolbagh batch is beginning from 23rd of December and keeping in mind your mains and prelims preparation for the year 2025, the UPSC exam for 2025, Drishti IAS has come up with a new program and that is Sambhav 2025. So, this will cover both your prelims preparation and your mains preparation as you will get 10 prelims questions on daily basis plus 2 mains answer writing questions on daily basis. And the and the in-depth analysis of the previous year questions will also be done. Complete coverage of general studies and current affairs will also be done. So, you can check out the Drishti IAS website for it. Now, let us move towards the news. So, the first ever Ganges River dolphin was tagged in Assam. So, this has been done in the state of Assam and this is a historic milestone for project dolphin. And the aim for the satellite tagging of the gangetic dolphin is towards conserving India's national aquatic animal as the number is declining and has reached around 3000 to 3500. So, keeping in view of the of the declining numbers, conservation of the national aquatic animals becomes all the more important. Then the tagging exercise will help in understanding the species, species seasonal and migratory patterns that how the movement of gangetic dolphin actually takes place range distribution distribution means that in what areas the number of dolphins are present whether they are present in the ganges or they are present at the sites of bihar or west bengal at which side are they present and in what numbers then the habitat utilization particularly in fragmented or disturbed river system and the ministry of environment forest and climate change and the national campa funded project and this and this satellite tagging has been led by the wildlife institute of india in collaboration with the assam forest department so the ministry of environment is looking into it then about the ganges river dolphin because this is the point from where the questions can be asked like for example that the first satellite tagging of the ganges river dolphin has been done in which state assam 
वॉट इज द आई यू सी एन स्टेटस ऑफ द गेंगेज रिवर डॉल्फिन और वेयर इज द गेंगेज रिवर डॉल्फिन सेंचुरी इज लोकेटेड सो दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड इन द प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन नाउ अबाउट द गेंगेज रिवर डॉल्फिन सो देर आर अराउंड फोर्टी फोर जीरो फोर्टी एक्सटेंट स्पीशीज अक्रॉस मल्टीपल फैमिलीज दैट आर रेफर्ड टू एज डॉल्फिन सो इट इज नॉट दैट डॉल्फिन कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली वन फैमिली अंडर इट अराउंड फोर्टी एक्सटेंट स्पीशीज अक्रॉस मल्टीपल फैमिलीज मल्टीपल फैमिलीज मीन्स मोर देन वन और टू फैमिलीज एंड दैट इज दे आर रेफर्ड टू एज डॉल्फिन एंड वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द फैमिली दैट इज द डिफिकल्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन दिस इज पी एल ए प्लेटेन प्लेटेनसिस टाइड पी एल ए टी ए एन आई एस टी आई डी ए ई सो दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द फैमिली एंड इट कंप्राइज ऑफ टू एक्सटेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ इंडियन रिवर डॉल्फिन नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट पर्टिकुलरली अबाउट इंडियन रिवर डॉल्फिन दैट इट कंसिस्ट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू स्पीशीज दैट इज द इंडस रिवर डॉल्फिन एंड द गेंगेज रिवर डॉल्फिन एंड हु इज द नेशनल एक्वेटिक एनिमल ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज द गेंगेज रिवर डॉल्फिन and indus river dolphin and ganges river dolphin they were considered to be the same species till the time of 1970s so till the time of 1970s they were same species and after 1970s they become two distinct spe species then the adult dolphin could weight between 70 kg and 90 kg and if we talk about the range or the weight of the male and the female dolphin then the male gangetic dolphin weight around 2 to 2.5 meters long so this is the length of the male dolphin while the female dolphin is around 2.4 to 2.6 meters so female dolphin is comparatively or you can say slightly lengthy as compared to the male dolphin then they are frequently found alone or in small groups so alone also they can be found in small groups of 3 to 4 or 5 gangetic dolphins they can be found but they are not present in large quantities then it is also known as india's national aquatic animal and in the year 2009 it was it got the tag of the india's national aquatic animal then they are endangered in nature so the iucn status is endangered and they are fresh water and they are mostly found in the fresh water dolphin species primarily found in the ganges brahmaputra and the meghna river system so we basically the river systems in which they are found is the ganges brahmaputra and the meghna then if we talk about the physical characteristics of ganges river dolphin then they are blind in nature so if they are blind in nature how do they communicate with each other so they communicate through echo location to navigate and hunt so it is on the basis of the sound they navigate or they tend to communicate with each other then about the habitat so they prefer slow moving water fast moving waters they do not prefer they prefer the slow moving water fresh water with adequate depth and prey availability prey availability because their diet consists of they their diet consists of fish and invertebrates and they are carnivorous in nature so they are carn carnivorous in nature if we talk about the geographical distribution so majorly in which area are they found so they are basically found in the ganga brahmaputra meghna karna puli Sang sangu river system in india nepal and bangladesh so it is not that specifically they are limited to india they are found in other countries also like nepal and bangladesh so this was about the features of the gangetic river dolphin then if we talk about the ecological significance then they are the keystone species and are also known as the indicator species their presence in that area so they represent a habitat in themselves and their presence in that area also reflects the health of the ecosystem and their conservation will lead to the conservation of the complete area in which they are found keystone species because they play a crucial role in maintaining riverine ecosystem balance and also a indicator species as it reflects the overall health of fresh water ecosystem so if they are present at a particular place or the distribution range is there then it talks about that yes the ecosystem is performing well and that is why the food chain and the food web of that particular area is also functioning properly
then the conservation status so the iucn status of the gangetic river dolphin is endangered if we talk about the site status so they come under appendix 1 in indian wildlife protection act 1972 schedule 1 so they are given the highest status of protection and conservation then if we talk about the conservation efforts for the for the gangetic dolphin till now by the government so few of the examples are first of all wildlife protection act so the launch of ganga action plan in the year 1985 it talks about or it included gangetic dolphin in the first schedule of the wildlife protection act of 1972 and keeping uh, keeping any animal or fish under the wildlife protection act of 1971 under schedule 1 it means that the animal or the fish has been given the highest or the the topmost category of protection then the aim is checking hunting and pro providing conservation facilities such as wildlife sanctuaries for the species and wildlife sanctuary the first wildlife sanctuary for the gangetic dolphins has been opened in bihar in the vikram shila so it is known as the vikram shila ganges dolphin sanctuary vikram shila ganges dolphin sanctuary was established in bihar under the wildlife protection act of 1972 then comes the national aquatic animal so ganges river dolphin has been regarded as the national aquatic animal of india in the year 2009 and this this was made to increase awareness about them among the people and also with regard to people working towards their conservation then project dolphin so the project dolphin was released in the year 2020 and the conservation of both river and marine dolphins is a prime objective of it then technological interventions is satellite tagging projects for studying migration and habitat needs and the first ever satellite tagging for the gangetic dolphin has been done in assam then community awareness initiatives to educate local communities about sustainable fishing and conservation because as the gangetic dolphin are found majorly in the ganges so it becomes all the more important for the local communities to work in such a way that they do not cause harm to the ganges dolphin so their conservation becomes all the more important so this was about it and in the end the prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section it is a pyq of the year 2015 which one of the following is the national aquatic animal of india so that is saltwater crocodile, olive ridley turtle, gangetic dolphin or gadial. Seems an easy question. So give me the answer in the comment section. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet next time. Keep reading, keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.